stories of the actions of seemingly normal young men, viciously and senselessly murdering, raping, and destroying their lives, and the lives of their neighbors and families frightens us. The reports exclude the obvious evidence. Witnesses are interrogated while reporters search for a rational explanation for the irrational acts. I watched my TV anxiously waiting for the report that would include the only statement that could have possibly explained the seamless behavior. The young men who so intent were to rid themselves of mental anguish were severely mentally ill. Today, reporters in our society look for rational explanations for violent behavior when the only rational explanation is mental illness. There are many myths associated with mental illness. Today, we are going to uncover some facts about mental illness, how some forms of mental illness are closely associated with violence, and how undiagnosed mental illness can devastate our society. So what are some of the common misconceptions about mental illness? Most of us think of drooling, degenerate, staggering people when we hear the phrase. Another misconception is people are retarded or less intelligent than normal. These myths are false. There are some famous writers, Hemingway, Steinbeck, Faulkner, and O'Neill, who were all manic depressives. They were all alcoholics and they were all Nobel Prize winners who struggled with mental illness. And this information was found in Surviving Schizophrenia by E. Colaturi. Another myth about mental illness is that it's not contagious. The acts of other young people who, intimidate, who imitated their peers stretched the bounds of normal behavior, which means the illness is spreading. It affects the victims of violence in all of us as we develop fears and cope with stress. Another myth about mental illness is that it only affects the brain and the brain functions. This is false. Mental illness can be due to physical problems, hormonal, and chemical imbalances. So what are some specific mental illnesses that exhibit violent behavior? 90% of all people who commit suicide have been diagnosed with a psychiatric illness. Suicide is a symptom of depression. It's been on a steady increase in young people. In the past 30 years, suicide has tripled in young persons between the age 15 and 19. It is the third most common death among students. Men who commit suicide usually use violent methods. The myth, of suicide, <coughs> excuse me, the myth of suicide is that if a person continually talks about ending their own life, they won't actually do it. This is false. Most people who threaten to take their life repeatedly do finally commit suicide. This information was found in the American Association Home Medical Encyclopedia by Charles B. Clayman. Schizophrenia is another mental illness that is associated with violence. Schizophrenia means personality split. The degrees of schizophrenia vary depending on genetics and chemical imbalances of the brain. 3.8 million people will or have suffered from schizophrenia sometime in their life. 1.8 million people currently are diagnosed with the disease. This does not include the one-third of all homeless people who are estimated to have the disease that will untreat it. That fact figure does not include the 29% of all inmates in our prisons and jails who are incarcerated because there are no beds available in psychiatric hospitals for the illness to be treated. This is found in surviving schizophrenia by equal maturity. The secrecy of schizophrenia makes it one of the most difficult me mental illnesses to diagnose. My own family hit this genetic trait from me when I was recently diagnosed with the illness myself. Another myth about mental illness is that if a person really tried hard enough, they could will away all their problems and change their thought processes. This is false. Scientists are just beginning to piece together the mind and the body and the aspects of hormones and chemical imbalances that cause the brain's electrical functions to misfire. <clears throat> Thank you. This is an illustration.
integration of the brain and its functions. Up here, we have the neurons that send positive and negative charges, which is usually sodium and potassium um, through, the, through the brain. These light blue areas are receptors for hearing, sight, and sensation. How the brain interprets this, the information is sent down to the nerve system and the adrenal glands are affected. And the adrenal glands produce um, adrenaline and uh, also other chemicals and hormones that then get shot into the bloodstream, goes back through the central nervous system, and then the brain again interprets those responses which is usually physical sensation and speech. And uh, so that's how the connection between the mind and the body actually is work, works. New research is underway, which is helping develop medications that help sta stabilize these processes. The research is so new and medications are so new that they don't know whether or not there is going to be a sufficient recovery for people who are trying these medications. And um, usually, in that sort of illness, 60% of the people who have it will recover as long as they realize that they will have to stay on medication for the rest of their life and they will have to undergo some sort of therapy. And this information was found in Microsoft's and part of the encyclopedia under brain, kidney, and neurophysiology. Has our image of mental illness changed? I hope now we understand and let, let go of some of the myths associated with mental illness and the epidemic that is spreading silent and out of control. We have seen how undiagnosed mental illness can devastate society, how some forms of mental illness are associated with violence, and examine some of the common misconceptions of mental illness. The devastating, ironic tra tragedy of the deaths carried out in our educational system have to be intercepted before another life is cut short and it's nothing more than a memory ended by a chemical imbalance of the brain. Our understanding of mental illness should prevent us from witnessing another news report which questions why seemingly normal young men annihilated. 